So I think of myself as trying to develop problem solving. My goal for them is after they leave my classroom at the end of the year, is that they next time they get a problem, and by problem I mean a homework question, that they look at and they say, I don't know how to solve this problem. I've succeeded if they say, I don't know how to solve this problem. Okay, let me write out the goal, let me write a diagram, let me write the info and symbols, let me throw some equations at it. That they have some strategies when I look at a homework problem and I don't know what to do, I still know what to do. I personally learn a lot through interacting with things. I'm not really a numbers kind of person. I like how in physics you drop balls to see how gravity works. One of the demonstrations that was earlier in the year was, okay, does gravity pull down this piece of paper and this rock at the same time? And by putting the paper on its edge to negate air resistance, they fall at the same time. And so by doing all these things personally and actually having hands on the material, it's helped me a lot to grasp subjects that are a bit harder conceptually. I felt like best, at least today, like asking questions because if you just don't say anything and you didn't feel good about the homework, then like you're starting to fall behind rather than like being active. So I often do the thing where I go, where they're working in pairs, I still feel like it's Harkness because um, it's still students teaching students, but I'm going on the table and saying, okay, have you thought about doing this with your diagram? Or notice you have this in your diagram, or what's making this work? So I'm, I'm giving people the individual suggestions they personally need. When you're talking about the light that's coming right from here, it helps to look down a little bit, it's kind of coming up to the water. I think that with all 13 of us, at least one of us will know the answer, so I'm just able to ask around. But I definitely knew I wanted to do the pin, the activity with the pins and prisms at the end, and I want to make sure that wasn't rushed. So as we started the demo, we knew through Doc J's explanation and showing us the ruler before the basics of how the refraction was working. And then we tried to get more detailed for the demo and tried to figure out how it worked as well as what the details of it working were. And so we just did the demo very quickly and spent more time focusing on what were the implications of what we learned than doing the actual demo. I'll kind of walk away from the board and kind of look down and say, okay guys, and I'll like withdraw myself and they instantly turn to each other, they talk it out, they reach a consensus. This class I think works together quite well and none of us are really um, too uncomfortable with each other. I don't think there's like any conflict. I guess we just tell the other what, how we solved it and then give suggestions if someone's confused or um, try to look for mistakes in each other's things if like something didn't end up correctly. My participation personally will change like with how comfortable I feel with the material. Like the more comfortable I feel with it, the more I'll go put up problems myself and demo them rather than asking questions and taking notes from other people's demonstrations. I think naturally I'm more inclined to just blurt out the answers, but with Harkness where you have to modulate your participation more, um, I think I find myself actively having to think how much I've already said in class and like um, if I'm saying too much or too little. I think I do, if not deliberately design things to reveal stuckness, I know where to tend to get stuck and I'll pick homework problems that will require them to face that. So then we can then say, oh, that's the process. That's how I do this.